Jeffrey. So you're saying Tyrone Woodley, I saw that, and mm-hmm. Askren, when you're coming up, how old now, are you wrestling with these guys? Are you training with these guys? And if yes, at what age did that start when you guys are training so, together? So I came into Mizzou as an 18 year old, as a freshman. Yeah. Tyron was in his going into his senior year. So I had one year on the team with Tyron, I had two or th- two years with Ben. And they were both like my big brothers. And, and I can tell you right now, Ben Askren might be the exact opposite of me when it comes to self image. That dude thinks <laughs> yeah. that he that dude thinks that he can do anything. Really? And, and it's he, he is the most confident person I have ever been around in my entire life. And even I spent age, wow. yes, and I spent so much time around him and I always felt out of place. And and there was even there was even moments where I was mad at him or I would lash out at him or because he, he was just like, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why you don't believe in yourself. You're beating CP Slater here by four points and all of a sudden you, you gave yourself permission to lose instead of giving yourself permission to win. And I'm like, wow. Ben, I don't understand why I can't win. I'm just afraid to. I'm afraid to give myself permission to win. You know, whereas a guy like him, I don't know how he developed that, but I sure am studying up hard right now to be able to instill in my children mm-hmm. More like his thought, his thinking than not, than my thinking. Not you know? cocky. You're saying pure confidence. You're pure, not saying he was cocky. Ben, well, ben was a little little okay, cocky. Yeah. You know, he rubbed people the wrong way. But in, in and UFC, think, I'm thinking how he was at 20. Yeah, for sure. And he had he had the fro, and he would he would talk trash and that kind of stuff. And yeah. I think, you know, not to go back to to quotes, but even even just the the Nelson Mandela quote. You know, let your own light shine, so you so the people around you. Mm-hmm. C- will inadvertently let their their light shine. You know, don't be afraid to be the best because because other people might feel insecure around you. I I think I also I also tried to operate in such humility that it was a detriment because I think humility is is the most beautiful thing. It's probably one of the greatest traits that you can possibly have, but too much humility. Yeah. It's going to be extremely hard to be extremely successful because well, you, you don't. You had you don't limiting beliefs, yeah. is I believe what yeah. it's called, right? I think yeah, I think there's that intersection and kind of that that fine line between limiting beliefs. Were you raised and in humility. a church environment? Were you raised in a Christian environment? Or? I was I was raised Catholic. Okay, um, and then I you know I was actually the one I got saved really in a, in a spirit filled church when I was 16 and was one, was the one who kind of started bringing my family to a non denominational Christian church. Got it. So um, so sometimes that sometimes that brings the humility where you you feel a little bit uncomfortable being shameless and promoting and being self-promotion, you know, like, hey, let me tell you, here's what I'm going to be doing because it kind of comes from a, it is one of the values and principles uh, uh, in the non-denomination to not be doing that. But in your world you're in today, that skill set pays a lot to be, you know, yeah. a little bit shameless about promoting yourself. Yeah. And by, by the way, when you did it that one time when you won and you came out and you said, hey, Connor, yeah. they <laughs> tell you, Connor. And he, yeah. just, like, he was like, yeah. boom, boom, yeah. boom, yeah. the way he said it. But going back, so when you're when you're uh, wrestling with uh, Tyrone or you're wrestling with Ben, uh, uh, are, are they at this level superior to you or is it like by half? Are you guys about the same when you're going up against them, are you are you developing confidence saying, I can hang with these guys? Or at that level, the two-year difference between you and Ben, he was superior to you. Yeah, Ben ben, ben for sure. And Tyron as well. But Tyron was more – I became somewhat of Tyron's uh, Tyron's practice dummy because he knew we were around the same mm-hmm. weight. I was a 157-pounder. He was a 165-pounder. Mm-hmm. And he knew if he called me at 4 a.m., I'm there. If I, he calls me at midnight, I'm there. If he calls me on the weekend, I'm there. So I became that guy because I was, once again, the walk-on. And this is Tyron Woodley. He was a St. Louis legend. He was a you know, a couple-time state champion from my home city as well. Um, ben, ben was in a league of his own. He was a couple-time Hodge Trophy winner, which is essentially the Heisman of wrestling. Um, and but Ben and I traveled. Ben to, was yeah. Ben Ben was Ben is one of the best NCAA college wrestlers wow. of all time. When he came out, how many game? How many fight win streak did he have? I don't remember what the number he was. He didn't. Third? Well, he didn't lose until he didn't lose until he came into Masvidal. the UFC. Masvidal was his first loss, yeah. and he was like twenty one and zero. Or yeah. that was the one like when Masvidal knocked him out in three seconds and with that, the knee that, to the head. It was six. Yeah. All right. six, six seconds. My bad, Mike. Right? Six. six. That's three my bad, six. brother. Three seconds over here. That's six my seconds. Brother we're talking about. <laughs> uh, you know, but so Ben was in a league of his own, and and those two guys. Wouldn't exactly give you much confidence because I always lost to them, and they also had the big brother. They had the big brother. Did on you me, ever you know? beat them? Did you ever beat them? I took Tyron down one time. I took Ben down one time. I think maybe in a, you know five years of wow. Time. So you so 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 you had the edge because you're 167. Tyron is uh, 175. 
you're going up against somebody that's got eight pounds on you, which is teaching you mm-hmm. how to go up against a guy a bigger size than you and yeah. a little bit older than you experience. So it's kind of helping you out. That's yeah. good positioning for you. Yeah, for sure. And, and even back back to your point, you know, the the idea of of the walk on and what what is the what is the thread of of success? Because I, I talk to these young guys now. I'm training with I'm training with 22 year old guys right now. I got scar tissue older than a lot of these guys. I'm 36 years old, you know, and I just say, hey man, don't think about you today. Let's think about, let's think about you 10 years from now. You want to be where I'm at 36 years old, still doing what I'm doing. And I made a career and I'm able to, able to take care of my family. So, Mm -hmm. so with that, going back to college, Tyron's a, you know, he's not even to me in, in the sport of, of wrestling, mixed martial arts. I don't think you're a true man until 30. That's, that's my true belief. That's when I truly finally felt like a man. And maybe I'm a late bloomer. Tyron's, you know, 22 at that time. I'm, I'm 18. He's got the big brother on me. So I wasn't going to beat him. And he was much bigger and I was a scrawny little freshman. Um, but I started to obviously to hold my own a little bit more here and there, but it just takes time as well. It takes time in business. Your first, your first entrepreneurial mm-hmm. venture compared to your 50th, mm-hmm. you're just a different person. You're galvanized by the fires that you have put yourself through in business, in relationships. And for me, it was obviously physical mm-hmm. in the work or in the, in the gym, in the strength and conditioning sessions, in the reps, in the drills. And then eventually, you know, that, that body finally catches up to hopefully the mindset that you you're have. saying. Th- so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.